Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. I don't know if you can see it, but there's my kitty, Mr. Riley. He is making his debut. There he is. Anyway, welcome. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returner, welcome back. So Gemini, we're going to be using, I think this is like Chakra Wisdom. I don't know. <laughs> So if this one doesn't end up resonating with you, go check out my playlist. There's plenty of other Gemini readings that are either dated or not. Don't worry about the dated part because these messages are pretty specific. So if the title resonates with you, go for it because, you know, storylines can be similar for the collective reads, but not. So check them out. They all came out and they're like, nope, take them. So I'm going to ask your guides to come in and talk to my guides so we can get you the most accurate information as far as a collective read. And make sure you give this a thumbs up so it does get spread to other Geminis that need to hear this healing message. So this is you, them, and the storyline. <laughs> Cat's running around with his head cut off. All right, so you've got the Princess of Wands, the Hermit, and the Ace of Wands. Your person has the Eight of Wands, Eight of Coins, the Nine of Coins, and the Ten of Wands. So both of you have a lot of fiery passion towards each other, that's for sure. What I'm hearing from the guys is that you're trying to keep this alive. You're trying to keep this moving forward in... Um, what I'm hearing is a happy-go-lucky manner. The hermit here, I think I feel like you've been, yeah, going within, contemplating, and seeing how you really do want to move this forward. Your person's been working hard. They've been focusing on money. And their, their financial situation or their job is a burden to them. They're passionate about their burden. You got the sun card here. Which is a beautiful card. So you and they both want happy things. Happiest card in the deck, right? So here is the Eight of Swords. It's that self-purgatory, you know, negative thinking. Now, who is, okay, so I feel like that's you. And them, actually, that's what I'm hearing. Because I feel like you're, you're asking like, hey, why aren't we, why aren't you making an effort here? And it is this, these financial burdens You're actually considering, you know, making more contact, but it, you know, what I'm getting with this one is that you're like, okay, well, I'm not going to be the only one doing the work here. If you don't have time, you know, this is putting us in an awkward situation here where you are almost, and flip the storyline as it reads, but there's an obsession going on because they're not available. You feel like they're like this ghost behind you. not really able to participate. And I'm going to be taking this one into an extended for sure. So an extended for me, I do it a little differently than others. It's $5 monthly membership. So you get to look at all of the extendeds for all the signs, not just this particular one. And then you can cancel anytime. So let's say you just want to see this extended. 
You can pay for it for the five bucks, watch the rest of them that you want to, and then cancel if you so choose. And I will be adding more, <laughs> I will be adding more services as we go along here. But you've got the high priestess. Yeah, it's like you're kind of, you're trying, trying to be strong and you're trying to make sure that you stay in your high priestess mode because you're like, you know what? I'm a cat here. Like, look at this person here. They're like, I know what I am. I know what I deserve. And it's difficult because this person's financial situation is obviously a burden, you know, where they're trying to keep afloat. With the hermit is the chariot. And your thoughts are about moving things more forward, moving things forward. With the Ace of Wands here is the Two of Swords. So you're definitely, you've got that fiery passion. You want, even if, if, if this had stopped or it slowed down, you want it to start again. But you know that with this Two of Swords here, it's like you're, you're caught in the stalemate where this person has to keep working. They have to keep taking care of what they're responsible for. You know, and that's why here you're trying to stay silent because you're like, okay, I know, I get it. You know, people have things they have to take care of, but you want to be taken care of too. And I can feel like a little bit of temper tantrum in on the inside. You know, maybe this person felt it or was like, hey, you're pressuring me. I can't do this. You know, and with this eight of um, cups here, they're feeling judged. You know, judgment came down. Maybe you were just like, you know what? You're not, you're not really giving enough here. So with this nine of coins, they want to be the king of wands. They want to be. Now, spirit, I'm feeling most of the energy coming from the person who is watching this video. Now, let's tune in to this person who has all these financial burdens here. What, what else can you tell me? Yeah, this person feels, your person feels very trapped because with this King of Wands, they want to move forward, but they can't. I feel that their hands are tied. You know, and with this Ten of Wands here is the Seven of Cups. And, it, you know, it's mirroring the same thing where they're feeling very trapped. What I just heard was like, they wish that, you know, either time would slow down or that they could make the day longer to somehow squeeze you in. So here with the five of coins is this with the sun card. So this is a high level soulmate twin flame connection. And this is why I love so many different kinds of cards because there is a child there. So there could very well be children that this person has to take care of that is further burdening their availability to have time with you. With this eight of swords is the five of wands. So yeah, they don't, you don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to fight anymore. And it's like, maybe you didn't even really fight that much. It was just more like, Hey, you're not really putting any effort in here because they can't. So with this Eight of Wands is the Eight of Cups. Let's see if we can get this to focus in so you can see it. Okay, camera, let's work it. Apparently not. You know, this person to me looks very sad. Kind of pissed off too, actually. You know, so you're, you know, you might be feeling some anger too. And I, think, I feel like your person's a little angry at, at their situation, but there's nothing they can do. And on the bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups here with this devil. So there's definitely love shared between the two of you. This person just has a lot of burdens. For sure. This just fell to the ground, so I am going to take it. 
It is the hanged woman. So this is definitely challenging you to get a new perspective. And it's interesting because I can feel with your person here, it's like they're desperately trying in their mind. They're thinking about their schedule and they're thinking about like, what about there? What about there? What about there? And they just couldn't make it work. Like they, they don't have it. Maybe they have over, you know, obligated themselves or have a very demanding job. And then if they have kids, it's even more. But they are a faithful heart. And I, you know, of course, I feel like you are too, but you know, if you're having a relationship with the air, <laughs> you know, and it's made, it's made it to where both of you feel like you're at enemies and it's not like in a dramatic way. It's more like, because the situation will not ease the situation at this time cannot change. And I feel for some of you, Gemini's, if you're the ones watching this, I, th I feel like you are, you are considering dating other people. You know, you're in deep thought about this, like, oh, okay, well, if this person, even though there's this deep soulmate twin flame connection here, if they can't be there, you know, what do you do? You know, yeah, are you in some kind of a self purgatory situation? Yeah, yeah. You kind of are, you know, it's, you know, I feel like this is not just you, it's both of you, you know, in this mental prison of like, well, okay, they have no time for me and they can't really bring anything forth. And they're saying, well, I can't because I have no time. You know, your person feels like they're a servant to their life. Whatever obligations, whatever they have that they have to take care of, they're definitely in service to it. And I hear them saying, what was I even thinking when I wanted to bring someone else into the situation? And the answer was, is because they were lonely. For some of you, it might have been they lost their spouse in the past. And so they're the ones who take care of the kids. They're the ones who take care of things or some kind of financial burdens left from that past situation. I also feel that they, um, they like money. They want, they want to bring, you know, their children or whatever the situation is. They want it to be, how do I say this? They want, they want everyone available, not available, everyone who is a part of their financial responsibility to feel comfortable to have what they need. And it's, um, to me, what I'm feeling, it's very excessive. You know, like they have to have the latest cell phone and they have to have the latest this and that and the other. It's like they're, you know, very financial, fin financially oriented. Now, Gemini, if this is resonating with you, please make sure you give this a thumbs up so it resonates, or <laughs> I can't even talk now because I'm so into this, um, so it gets spread around to other Geminis that need to hear this. Give me more information about what is going on with this person here. You know, and with this card is what I'm getting is they're cautious to even let you in because they're like, oh my God, look at all these other things that I have to take care of. And now it'll be one more. And I can hear you saying, no, I never said that I want to be taken care of, you know, but that's, especially if this is a, you know, a, a masculine energy, they have been programmed to say their worth is through money and what they can provide others if they want a family. So and in their mind, they're like, okay, well, I, I can't handle any more. So, you know, detachment from you is the best bet. Not that they want to, but it's like a, how do I say it? 
um, a protective measure for themselves. So I hope that this was helpful. If this is where we part, um, you know, it is what it is at the, at the moment. If you want to take this into the extended, um, I will see you over there. The link is down in the description box. And if not, I will see you next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Bye for now.